In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for MnNO3 2 plus K2CO3. This is manganese 2 nitrate plus potassium carbonate. The first thing we need to do when we balance net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. And this is our molecular equation. It looks like we have two potassium atoms here and just one here. Let's put a two in front of the potassium nitrate. Now we have two nitrates and we have two nitrates here, so that's good. We have a manganese, manganese, carbonate, and carbonate. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, very soluble. So this will be AQ, dissociate into its ions. Potassium compounds, also very soluble, even though carbonates in general aren't. But this potassium here tells us this will be soluble as well. Here we have the carbonate with the manganese, a transition metal. This will be insoluble, won't dissolve. These two substances react and you create this insoluble compound. So it's gonna be a solid fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So our MnCO3, manganese carbonate, manganese two carbonate, that's a precipitate. We have another nitrate compound, very soluble. These are the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions and that's gonna give us the complete ionic equation. So we don't know the charge on the manganese, but we do know the whole nitrate ion, that's gonna be one minus. Since we have two of them, this will be two plus, so the charge balances out. So this is the manganese two ion. I'll write the states later. Plus we have two nitrate ions here. So two of these nitrate ions, plus potassium that's in group one on the periodic table, that's one plus carbonate ion, that's all two minus. So we have two potassium ions, and then we have the carbonate ion, that's CO3, two minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So this precipitate here, this MnCO3, we keep that together, and then we have positive, the nitrate is negative, so two potassium ions, just like we have in the reactants up here, and two nitrates. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. I can see here in the reactants, I have two nitrate ions. And in the products, I have two nitrate ions. These are spectator ions and we can cross those out. Let's see, reactants, two potassium ions here. Again, in the products, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for MnNO3 2 plus K2 CO3. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for manganese 2 nitrate plus potassium carbonate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two plus, two minus. That gives us a net charge of zero here. In the products, this is neutral net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for MnNO3 2 plus K2CO3. Thanks for watching.